When eight Israeli F-16s and an escort of F-15s took off on June 7, 1981, they knew that if the mission was to be a success, they'd have to cross 600 miles of rival territory without being detected, penetrate the nuclear reactor's 60-foot concrete dome, and do it all while avoiding Iraq's air defenses. But as risky as the operation was, it was considered of utmost importance given that the target was no less than OSIRAC, a reactor where it was believed Saddam Hussein would soon be able to manufacture atomic weapons. So taking off on a zigzag route through northern Saudi Arabia, they flew as low as 150 feet above the desert to avoid radar detection. As they passed over the Gulf of Aqaba, the Jordanian king happened to spot them from his yacht and tried to warn Iraqi officials, but it was no use. When the F-16s dropped their payload, the Iraqi gunners were having dinner and rushed out just in time to see the Israeli pilots pulling away, leaving in their wake the smoking ruins of a thoroughly destroyed nuclear reactor.